Hey guys, this is Audrey Lolita Terry coming in up out of Austin, Texas with a prophetic message for somebody. Mm, it's several message, prophetic messages that the Lord gave me. But as always, you want to take every word you get to God in prayer. Okay, because this message is not for everybody, but I know in my spirit it's for somebody. Stay with me to the end. You're going to be blessed. Pray with me. Father God, I come into prayer. Lord God, just thank you because of who you are. You are truly the El Shaddai, the God Almighty, the all-sufficient one, Father. Lord God, I pray, Father, if there's any covenants that I may have made with the enemy, knowingly or unknowingly, I break that covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, because my covenant is with you, Father. If there's any demonic portals that I may have opened up knowingly or unknowingly, I close it shut and I seal it closed now with the blood of Jesus right now, Father. Lord, let those that have eyes see, Father. Take the scales off their eyes and let those that have ears hear. Because you said, my sheep shall know my voice and a stranger's voice that will not follow. Have your way in Jesus' mighty name. I am praying. Amen. 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 To God be the glory and all the honor. I wanted to bring this message yesterday, but it wasn't in the will of God for me to bring the message because it was some other things that I had to do. Okay, I had other appointments that I had to make. But the Lord gave me. I think it's maybe about two and maybe more than a prophetic message. I'm going to just flow. Okay, one is based on a dream. One, the Father was speaking on me, speaking to me. I'm sorry, speaking to me. But before I get into it, I just want to say a quick thank you for all the love and support, all the donations, okay, that you guys are blessing the ministry with so I could continue to do what I do. To God be the glory. I pray that the Father will open up the floodgates and pour out a blessing upon you where you won't have room enough to receive all in the comment sections, okay? I pray pray that the Father will bless you, those that want to give, and you just don't have it to give. I pray that the Lord will flood you out too, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Y'all ignore that noise, please. It's annoying. This is a car we have around here. But anyway, I'm going to get back to the word. Okay, the Lord, I wrote down some things. Because I didn't want to leave out anything. And I want to give this announcement because I've been sending emails. Like I tell you, I read all the emails, whether I respond or not. I, I'm able to see everything as of right now. For how long? I don't know. But right now, I read everything. Okay? So just because I don't respond, it don't mean that I don't see the email or I don't believe what you send to me. I just don't respond because the Father's not lead me to respond to. And I say this. I'm giving this announcement and I give it with, with, with the love of God. Okay, I want y'all to hear me because it's important that I say this. Okay, and some of you already know this and you already got this in the spirit, but some need to get it. Okay, the Lord is, is, is sending me and it's after much prayer. Okay, I've been reading these emails over and over again. And what I've been saying is that I wrote down some things that some have, well, I've been getting emails saying that you've been getting um, phone calls from me, okay, with the telephone number. That is not my number. And I could promise you and assure you that it is not me, okay? And I'm responding to this, this email out in the opening case. Anybody else get this, okay? You could be assured it's not me. I am not calling you. I could promise you that. It's not me, okay? And I done said this before, but I'm saying it again. It's not me. That number is not mine, okay? I can't control people calling your phone and saying that it's me, okay? So it's not me. And I only respond to what the Holy Spirit lead. Lead me to respond to rain or shine. If the Holy Spirit don't lead me to respond, I won't respond, okay? And another thing I want to say, for those that are blessed in the ministry, you know, I just, it's so many blessed in the ministry. Some of you guys faithfully, I want to say thank you, but make sure when you bless this ministry that the Holy Spirit is leading you to bless. That is not with expectation. I'm going to say this one more time. Make sure when you bless this ministry, it's not with any expectation. Okay. The only expectation you should have is out of the Lord and not out of the, out of the ministry that you are blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure because if you're expecting something from out of the person ministry that you're blessing, it's not coming from the Lord. Mm, thank you, Jesus. And if you have to talk about what you're doing, it's not coming from the Lord. Don't do it. You don't want to do it if it's not from the Lord. But some of you are sincerely giving from the Lord. And I want to say thank you 
from the bottom of my heart. It's important that I give this. And another thing I want to say, because I'm getting all kind of emails. Okay, guys. So please accept this with love. Okay, because this is coming from a place of love. But it's important that I share this. Okay. I don't, like I said, I don't respond to the emails because my heavenly father don't have me to respond to the emails. But I pray over all emails. Okay. As the father lead me to whether it's good or bad. I want you to hear me. I'm praying over all. Mm, just know that I'm praying over all. But it's important for me to, like I say, to, to share this. It, it's just so much that the Father, you know, laid before me with this that I need to bring this forward. Because I keep seeing the same emails come forth and it's not me. Okay, I want you to know it's not me. And I'd rather, you know, offend you than to respond to you and offend to, than to offend my heavenly father that's telling me not to respond okay i want you to hear me this is once again out of love it's important that i be honest with you guys okay thank you jesus hallelujah to god be the glory and all of the honor and another thing that i'm seeing i've been getting emails i, I just want to make this clear that i am not on this platform looking for a husband Come on, help me, Holy Spirit. Mm, I may step on some toes. Thank you, Jesus. But like I said, I'd rather step on your toes and crush them than to step on my father's toes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Because I'm my mission is here just to, and my aim is to please my father. Okay, and I'm not here to 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 get a husband. Whether or not the, the, the father is saying, because I'm seeing, I'm getting these emails coming in, all kind of emails, guys. I'm telling you. You'll be surprised at some of the stuff if I was to share with you guys what I was seeing, what I'd be seeing in the emails. Okay, is 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 if if God say that I am your wife, okay, then that settles it. Mm, that's it. Okay, but please, no more emails with that. No emails because it's a distraction. Okay, it, it, it is a distraction. Mm, anything that's not about ministry. Please do not send it that's pertaining about I am your wife. Because when a father give confirmation to one, he going to always give to the other. Thank you, Father. And I'm saying this, like I say, with much love. Mm. And, and I pray that you be able to accept that, accept it that way. If not, then God bless you and I love you. To God be the glory and all of the honor. Mm. Thank you, Father. Let me make sure I ain't leaving. Nothing now. And I think that's it with the email. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit wanted me to bring this forth. Okay? And this is after much prayer and land before the Father with these emails coming in. Thank you, Jesus. Because it's people hurting. It's people that sit, that need healing. And it's important that I keep my focus and keep my eyes on God. What God got for me is for me and it's going to be. Thank you, Jesus. And I believe that if the Father means for something to take place and happen, it'll take place mm, at its appointed time. Thank you, Father. I ain't in no hurry. Thank you, Jesus. I enjoy my time with just me and the Father. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. All the honor. Now I'm going to get on with what I saw, what, what the Father showed me. Okay, one of them, this happened when I had a dream a few, few few days ago, and I saw that just so clear. My God, it was just so clear. Thank you, Father. Stay with me to the end. You won't be blessed. I'm going to tell you what I saw. The, the, the one was um, at 1243 a.m. I want to say Thursday morning. Was it Thursday morning or Friday morning? I want to say either one of those days. But it was at, when I looked at the time, it was at 1243. 43 a.m. and what I saw was books it was a whole lot of books like books that surrounded you whoever you are you like to read you're very wise and I was right down as the Holy Spirit was trying to give me a description of you you gonna you gonna catch this in the spirit whoever you are thank you father you have a world of wealth in the inside of you so much wisdom you are a mighty man of God and, and highly favored and anointed and appointed by by God thank you Jesus but the, 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 thank you, Father. That was, like I said, I was trying to keep right document as the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. It, it, it seemed like and what I'm, what I was picking up in the spirit that you have been, dis you are discouraged. You praying, you praying. Thank you, Father. The Lord showed me that um, people look at you like a grasshopper, but you are really a spiritual giant. Mm, you are faithful. You move in silence. You don't say much, but you are quick and armed with the with the whole armor of god thank you jesus thank you father ready to take out the enemy 
Mm, you don't have a platform. Whoever you are, you are, you don't have a platform. Not many people know about you. Mm, you often pray for different ministries. You know, you often pray. And I just thank God for you praying for this one. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God is on the inside of you. This is what the spirit was showing me uh, of you. You are a mighty warrior of God. Mm, and you are very spiritual mature. A lot of people know the word of God. And they, they could repeat scriptures, but they're not spiritual mature. But you are spiritual mature and you know the voice of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Come on, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. And I see it, it was like the, the Lord showed me that you either got your own business or you supposed to have your own business. Mm. The Father want me to tell you that he see you. He see your work and it's not going unnoticed. Mm. That he love you and that your prayers are heard. Thank you, Father. To God be the glory. Somebody need to be giving God the glory. That message is not for everybody, but it's for somebody. And this is for that message right there. That one message is for a male. And I picked up in my spirit, maybe more than one. It may be more than one, but I see one in the spirit. Mm, the power of God is on the inside of you. You are a powerful man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. To God. God be the glory. Continue to keep me in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. And you're going to get this message. You're going to catch it in the spirit. And you're going to be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. The next message that I got, okay, that I received, this was based off a dream. And this dream, let me tell you something, what I saw, it, it was in Florida. Whoever you are, you are in Florida. Mm. And, and somebody, I saw a married couple. I saw two men and a, and a woman. Mm, and one, you working in the medical field. You are a pharmacist. It's something either a pharmacist or doctor. You are working in the medical field and you are messing with somebody's wife. And the Lord is saying it's not yours. Not yours. I kept hearing the father say to tell you, not yours. If you don't stop, this is what the father is saying to you today. You're going to lose everything. You're going to even risk losing your livelihood. The Lord is speaking. You're going to be stripped. Thank you, Jesus, of everything. I don't know if you believe the father or not, but he going to make you out of a believer. Thank you, Jesus. And the father is telling you to, 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 to stop what you are doing. It's not yours. I just kept hearing the father say, it's not yours. Mm, and you want to you want to stop. You don't want what nobody else got. There's too many single women out here for you to be messing with somebody else's wife. This thing going to resonate in somebody's spirit. This was coming out of Florida. What I saw is in the state of Florida. And it's two men and I saw the women. And look like the look like the other person just like the woman walked in. But sometimes my dreams are symbolic, okay? But whoever it is, if you don't stop, you it's going you you're going to be exposed and you're going to wind up losing everything you got if you don't stop. The Lord speaking to somebody. The Lord speaking to somebody. You guys, whether it's a man or woman, you don't want to be messing with somebody else's husband or wife. Okay, you don't want what somebody else got. Thank you, Jesus. It ain't no such thing. Or oh, they ain't supposed to be married to that person. It don't matter. They married to them. They are married. You don't want to be putting your hands on something that belongs to somebody or lusting into something. You shouldn't be lusting at all. And especially in something that belongs to somebody else. I, I have seen so many, even pastors, lose everything they got messing with things they ain't supposed to be messing with. And some of them, they get in trouble because they, they struggle with the spirit of lust. Mm, thank you, Jesus. They get delivered, but they go back to it. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is speaking to somebody. This thing going to resonate in your spirit. And some people set themselves up for failure. You know, if you're on a diet, you ain't got no, no business at a buffet. Because if you go to that buffet and you like fried chicken, they got all that juicy fried chicken. Laying up there on that buffet, you're going to get you a piece. Come on, you may grab your leg. You're going you gonna to be tempted. Okay, so don't set yourself up for failure. And I see many pastors that do this. Many that do this. Whether they married, whether they single. Okay, I saw one probably in my lifetime. And it may be more that I haven't seen. But I've been to a lot of different churches because I moved a lot. Let me tell y'all, okay. And what I've saw, many pastors lose everything. They marriage, their ministries be destroyed because of the spirit of lust. Mm, the flesh, the, the Lord is speaking to somebody. Thank you, Father. They go to these meetings with these women in private. They have a conversation with these women in private. And then when things come out, when these women say things about them, they have no nobody else to back them up. Thank you, Jesus, that they didn't say that. But you're setting your own self up for failure. Thank you, Father. I knew one pastor like that that wouldn't do that. And it was back in Georgia at this mega church. He would not have a meeting with a woman in private. He respected his wife. 
He laid down the laws when he got there. He told us he loved his wife and the way to love him was to love his wife and his family. Thank you, Jesus, a respectable man of God. And he wasn't having a meeting with the women behind closed doors. You weren't going to be able to lie on him and say he, he did something. Because whenever he had a meeting counseling you, it was always somebody else in there. Thank you, Jesus. His wife didn't have, a, have to say a word. He said everything straight in the beginning. And that's the way it should be. But unfortunately, it's not like that. Many pastors set themselves up for failure. The Lord is speaking to somebody. If you don't stop, I don't know who this is, is for. If you don't stop, you're going to be destroyed, man of God. The Lord is speaking to somebody. Take this word to God in prayer. But this is going to resonate in somebody's spirit. You guys be blessed until next time. I want to give an invitation to the Lord. For those of you that don't know the Father, right now is the time. The Lord waiting on you with open arms. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Say the sinner's prayer with me. me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life as my Lord and Savior. If you've said this prayer with me, you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose from the dead, you are saved by the blood of Jesus. Until next time, I want you guys to know that I love you and happy Saturday and be blessed. Bye.